Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're gonna to be unboxing three Middle Eastern fragrance clones, including Rasasi's It's Essential. So let's jump into it. All right, we are back with another unboxing first impressions video of three Middle Eastern fragrance clones that I recently picked up from Fragrance Buy. Links are gonna be down in the description if you decide you wanna check any of these fragrances out. Also have a coupon code, save yourself five bucks off your first purchase at Fragrance Buy if you decide you want to shop with them. Pretty excited about this one. I got a three Middle Eastern fragrances, a one from Paris Corner, a one Ardell Zafron, and the new Rosasi It's Essential. Pretty excited about these. A couple of these I've been trying to get my hands on for quite some time, so let's quit screwing around and let's get into it. All right, so kicking things off, we're going to Paris Corner's Amir line, and it's a vibrant orange and a roly. Now scoop this bad boy up for $36 at Fragrance Buy. I wanted to get my hands on this for quite some time. It's been out of stock forever, but it became available on Fragrance Buy, and so I scooped it up. The Vibrant Vetiver is like one of my favorite fragrances in general, and so we'll find out if this is up to par with that one. Let's find out, shall we? All right, so there we have the box presentation, or tin presentation, to be more accurate. Pretty straightforward, nice metal tin, white top with the name of the a mirror on top and it does slide off like a so revealing our fragrance bottle very similar to the the vibrant series the vibrant vetiver saffron spicy tobacco they're all burrito clones apparently this one's supposed to be a clone of sundays by burrito so we'll find out here shortly bottle presentation just like the other ones kind of a nice simple design to this white cap on top uh, fairly thick plastic acrylic to this, so this isn't really necessarily a cheap one, but it's not necessarily a bougie one either. An atomizer on this bad boy. Ooh, we got ourselves a pressurized atomizer. I like that. Bonus points for pressurized atomizers. But what does this smell like? So right off that first blast, just smelling this in the air, really nice citruses, as you would imagine, from the name Orange and Neroli. You are getting that mandarin orange, you're getting some of that Neroli that's mixing in there. A little bit of a lemony punch to it, but it's a very candied style of citrus accord coming through because of this cotton candy note that's in the base. So it's adding this really nice, sugary, sweet, kind of light, playful style of citrus. Really nice so far. Let's get some paper. Yeah, so right off the rip, smelling this off paper. Beautiful citrus combinations here. The Neroli's coming forward quite a bit, and it's just complemented by that lemon and that mandarin orange that's in the top notes. Just a really nice medley of these citruses with a nice, like I said, kind of a candied sweetness that's going on to it. Not like too sugary, but it is definitely kind of on the sweeter side, but just a beautiful medley of these citruses. Nice and bright, energizing, but it's got this fun, playful side to it. Loving this. Yeah, as this is opening up a little bit more, there's this cotton candy note that's in the base that's coming through, so it's adding that sweetness. But there's also this nice jasmine that's coming through, adding this white floral touch to it, a little bit of softness to it, a little bit of white floral sweetness, mixing with that combination of those citruses. Just really nice. I'm, in, I'm really digging this one. Yeah, and as it's settling down, some of that musk is starting to come through. So all the notes in here are really working together very nicely. The citruses, the floral, the white floral aspect, that cotton candy, and that little touch of musk that's coming through just are singing together really nice. Let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, so we are back, and I hope in the editing process I don't hear a bunch of loud noises in the background because your boy Post, he got himself... He got himself a little staffy puppy in the last week or so here. So she's really sad when she's in the other room. So she's making a bunch of noise. So she's in here now. So hopefully we can keep the racket down. So that's who's screwing around. Let's get back to the fragrance. All right, back with the dry down of Paris Corners, Amir, Vibrant, Orange and Neroli. Been about an hour, let it settle down, do its own thing. This didn't change a whole lot, but there were, the cotton candy musk came forward a lot more. The neroli stuck around, a little hint of that white floral jasmine, but the orange and the lemony vibe sort of dropped off a little bit. So you're left with a little bit of that, I hate to say it, that kind of neroli cleaner sort of vibe that's going on to it with some, some sweetness that's not some sweetness, a lot of sweetness that's coming through from that cotton candy and that muskiness. And it's good, but I kind of like the opening in the mid a little bit more than I like this dry down, to be quite honest. This will be maybe a little bit different on my skin, but I was really excited about that initial opening. 
But the dry down, I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. But it's definitely got that kind of summery vibe going on to it. So I'm gonna have to get this on skin, see how it kind of reacts to my skin chemistry, see how the performance is, and then I'll have to get back to y'all on that. But so far, this is good. I'm just not super excited about this one quite yet. So I have to get back to you. That's Paris Corners, Amir, Vibrant Orange, and Neroli. All right, next up, going to the house of Ardell Zafron, and it's Ardell Zafron's Al Durham. Now, pick this sucker up for $30 at Fragrance Buy, and this is actually my first endeavor into the Ardell Saffron line. It's, they're kind of hard to find in Canada, and so we're going to kick it off with this one. So, let's dive in, shall we? All right, there we have the box presentation for El Durham. Pretty straightforward cardboard box, got this kind of lion in gold shimmeriness up there. Name of the fragrance, limited edition, all the necessaries on the back, but overall. Plain cardboard box. Let's take a look at the bottle. All right, there we have the bottle presentation for Ardell Zafron's El Durham. This is a really heavy bottle. It's deceivingly heavy. Nice thick glass on this. It's got a pretty thick base on this. Nice shimmery front to it. It's got that lion face right there as well and nice rounded corners on this. Nice sleek looking bottle. I do like that. Cap on this is kind of a light plastic. A little bit of an ornate top to it up there. Nothing too special with that. And the atomizer on this sucker. It's a bit of a weak atomizer. Give it another go. Yeah, you'll get the job done, but nothing too impressive. But what does this smell like? So right out the gate, just smelling this in the air right now. This does have that Chanel Allurum Sport sort of vibe going on to it. Not quite the same, to be quite honest. I, I, a little bit more sweetness going on here, maybe a little bit more zip. The tangerine that's coming through, there is a little bit of a lemongrassy vibe going on, but there's like a sweeter tuberose that's going on with this one that's really kind of coming forward. So a little bit different, same vibe, but a little bit different, but let's, let's dive into this. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, so right off the rip, like I said, citrus is coming forward. There's that tangerine that's there. It has that lemongrass but a really sweet bubblegummy style of tuberose coming through. Little hints of green, there is this, you know, detecting some geranium. There's a little bit of that watery lily of the valley that's working its way through. Really, really nice. I, I'm really enjoying this one, but it is different than the opening of Allure Arm Sport. It's like, like, like I said, this is sweeter and this has a little bit more, a little bit more zip to it in that, in that sense with that tangerine coming through. Little touches of some additional white floral in there. There's a little bit of jasmine coming through and you get little hints of some spice, like clove cinnamon style of spice coming. It is tucked in the background. It's just kind of like giving that citrus a little bit more of a pop, but this is very, like I said, tuberose forward. You get that, that zestiness that's coming from those citruses. Little hint of some vanilla from the base that's coming through, adding to some sweetness and kind of smoothing things out a little bit. This is really quite nice. I'm enjoying this. Let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Ardell Zafron's Alderham. Been an hour, let the settle down, do its own thing. This changed quite a bit. Those citruses that were at the very top have dropped back quite a bit. And this has turned into a little bit more of a, kind of a fresh, spicy, green, vanilla style of fragrance in, that, in this dry down. And there's like a little bit more spice coming through. So it has this like clovey cinnamon sort of pop that's going on to it. A little bit of musk that's come through, but it's definitely got a little bit more earthiness that's working its way through. The Lily of the Valley green touch is still there. The tuberose bubblegummy sweetness is really kind of dialed down from that initial opening. So it doesn't have that same level of sweetness or those citruses that were in the initial opening, but it is a really nice dry down. And it does remind me of the Allure Rome Sport. It has a very similar vibe that's going on to it. A little bit different, but it's definitely puts you in that neighborhood. Kind of a summer evening fragrance is kind of the vibe I'm getting off this one right now. So I'm gonna have to test this one, get it on skin, see how it performs, see how it does with my skin chemistry, but I can see why people are enjoying this one. This is a very nice fragrance. So for 30 bucks is where I got it at Fragrance Buy. I've seen it all the way up to about $46, $50 in other places. So not, not too sure if it's worth that. I'll have to get back to you guys, let you know how, how awesome this fragrance is or isn't. That's Ardell Zafron's Alderham. All right, last. But hopefully not least, going to the house of Rasasi with Rasasi's It's Essential. Now scoop this sucker up for $22 at Fragrance Buy. And this is supposed to be a clone twist of the YSL Loam's Ultimate. I don't own that, but I have smelt that way back in the day. Maybe it'll be familiar when I smell it, but it's, it's been a while. But let's dive into this. All right, there we have the box presentation for Rasasi's It's Essential. 
Nothing too special about this, just typical cardboard box. Let's take a look at the bottle. All right, so there we have the bottle presentation for Rosasi's It's Essential. Pretty straightforward bottle. It's got this kind of like ridged or ribbed edge on the side there. And the cap on this is quite unique with the shape that's going on there. So overall, just a pretty straightforward. Oh, I almost, I tried to tear it off from here, but there's the cap on that. And it is mm, thick plastic, but kind of feels a little bit cheap, but I don't know, that's kind of a little bit of a nice touch, I suppose. Atomizer on this. Uh-oh, there we go. There we go. Decent atomizer. We'll definitely get the job done. But what does this smell like? Oof, so right out the gate, just smelling this in the air. Really citrus forward, a really nice orange bergamot that's coming through. There's some hints of some lavender and a little bit of spice, some warm spice, like some cinnamon that's in the air right now, but the, that citrus is coming through. Nice, sweet style of citrus, has a little bit of that tart edge coming from that bergamot, but ooh, this is this has got some some spunk. Let's, let's get this on paper. Yeah, so right off the rip, just smelling this off paper. Nice balance between that citrus and there's a little bit of fruity sweetness coming through, some aromatics, geranium, lavender style of aromatics coming through. And there is that little bit of spice that's coming from that base. It, but like I said, this is really citrus forward in this opening right here. The orange is very prominent, that, that tart bergamot that's coming through. Beautiful opening, I'm enjoying this. As this is opening up a little bit more, that citrus is starting to share the stage a little bit more. So it is starting to fade back a little bit and those aromatics are coming through a little bit more. Cinnamon cardamom is just kind of peeking its head out from that base. So you're getting that little bit of pops of spice that are coming through. But like I said, right now, it's more of those aromatics that are coming through. Little hints of some green, some white floral coming through, but really nice, very, very nice. Yeah, it's moving away from that citrus opening and it's getting a little bit more on the earthy side. It still has that citrus and it still has this kind of light aromatic nature to it, but there's more earthiness that's starting to come through. So at the beginning, it was very citrusy sweet, had that tangy zest going on to it as well. And then it is starting to kind of intermingle a little bit more with those other notes and this smells fantastic so far, but let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back to the dry down of Rasasi's It's Essential. It's been about an hour, let's settle down, do its own thing. Beautiful dry down on this one. The cinnamon and cardamom come through in the base are absolutely gorgeous. Mixes with that citrus, that little bit of sweetness, the citrus that comes through, some of those aromatics, little touches of green that are in the mid. Beautiful, beautiful dry down on this. I'm really digging this one. Little hints of some wood. There's that, that kind of a fresh spicy cedar gayak kind of combination. It's not an overly woody fragrance. It is kind of just forming a base for that, that spice, that citrus, those aromatic touches to sit on top of. And it is absolutely beautiful. I am enjoying this one quite a bit. And it is pushing off the paper pretty good. So we'll see how this one performs. I'll have to get back to you guys, but for $22, even if this doesn't perform very well, I love how this one smells. And if it's a weak performer, I'll still wear it because it smells fantastic. So really happy with this one. Definitely gonna do a full review and get back to you. But so far, bang for your buck, 22 bucks. I am pretty pleased. That's Rosasi's It's Essential. And I wanna hear from you guys. What are some more Middle Eastern fragrance clones that you wanna see me do an unboxing for? Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, your hidden gems, different tastes and scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.